Hi there and welcome to today's session. Today we're going to take a look at how to add a template through Generico. Right, so um, let's go back here and try. And you can play around with this, try things out and see what works for you. Going to go into uh, a Google text. Okay, click on that and then notice what I do here. I go into the download raw file and then there it appears in my uh, computer there, desktop. Going to go to the template and this time we're going to change this to whatever we're getting and that's Google PDF. So we'll write Google here. You can't write Google PDF here, it won't work. It'll give you an error. So just write Google and then here I'll write Google PDF. Google PDF. You know, Padlet's really not really necessary because you can embed Padlet. That's not a problem. So this is only for things that you can't. So now I'm going to go and pull this Google PDF text to the bundle. Okay, there we go. And now you see it's all filled up and now we're ready to go. Uh, let's continue here until we get to the end. Save changes. Now I'm going to go into my courses and try this out. So let's wait until it's done. We're waiting and waiting. Okay, there it's done. Now we're going to go into my courses over here and I'm going to go into a, this course. It's actually over even though there's still people there. But I can always play around and uh, delete when I'm done. So in this case, I think I will simply go into introduction, just unit one, and then into a uh, forum here. I need an editor for this. Okay, so I'm going to start a discussion here. Write a uh, Google PDF, because that's what it is. Then I'm going to go into insert. I'm using uh, TinyMCE here, but it works for auto as well on Moodle. And then I'm going to scroll down until I get to Generico widgets. Notice they're also Poodle widgets. Then notice uh, it should be here, Google PDF. Click on that and then uh, I'm going to name the button that will contain the Google PDF. I'm going to put this here. Um, no, that's not where it should go. I need to get a PDF, a Google PDF. So we'll get a Google PDF and continue. So how do you get a Google PDF? You go into a regular uh, Google Docs and then you go into File and you're going to download as, in this case, PDF. Okay, we'll click on that. But we need to make it public. So, okay, now it's here. We're going to open it up. Now it's PDF. Okay. And then um, now I see what it looks like as a PDF. I may not like it and <laughs> make changes accordingly. And then notice uh, we're going to uh, upload it to our Google Drive. So here we are on Google Drive. We're going to go into New on the left here. If you need help with Google Drive, let me know. Then we're going to go into File Upload. And this time... Uh, there it is, our PDF. We're going to open it. And now it's opening up. You can see it here. And then you might have to go to Recent. So let's go into Recent so we can find it. There it is. Now we're going to go to the three dots on the right. Click on them. And we're going to Share. Under Share, we're going to share it with everyone. Right now it's restricted by default. Anyone with the link. And then we're going to, that's done, but we're going to copy the link. We're going to go to our browser. I'm using Chrome, as you can see. Click it there. Okay, now it's public, so um, we can copy the link. We can also, by the way, embed it. Right, so let's go back here. Um, we'll add it here, because now it's available. And then we'll give it a name, and um, to make sure that you have the right name. Uh, this is the name. It's called call is events okay so you can copy that or just write call is events i'm just going to copy it you can also call it something else you know let's just call it this to see how that works go back and we'll add the name the button it could be anything that you want it to be okay um and it shouldn't be too long 
that now we'll click on it and now we'll post to forum. And notice what we get. Let's go back here. There we go. Google PDF. We have the date and everything. And this is what students will see. We'll click on that. And now it opens up. And that's one way students can embed and maybe avoid some problems. You can screen share full screen, download it, or get the link. Okay, notice um, in full screen it will look a lot better, so you might want to do that. And the resource is going to be a link. Okay, so there it is. Now this time we're going to go back into the generical bundles, and this time we're going to go to URL. There it is, URL. We're going to go to the download. There it went up there. Go back to the course, to our administration. Only administrators can do this, so you need to be an administrator of a middle side to be able to do this. But you can ask your administrator to do these things for you. I'm going to write generico. Sorry about that. Generico. And then generico is the filter in this case, and that's what we're changing the templates, the filters. And then, uh, but you can go around it. There's, okay, these are the templates. And we're going to go to number nine. And this time we're going to add the link. Okay, so let's bring the link to the word bundle. There we go, we'll add that there. And then we get the name and everything that we need. Everything is here, isn't that amazing? And then we'll just simply go all the way down. I'm just showing you how to use these bundles that are absolutely amazing. And I really want to thank, let's wait for that. Okay, it's finished, go to my courses. Now I want to thank uh, Stefan Lehman for doing this. Absolutely amazing. There you can get more information. I'll share the link uh, with you. Uh, these are brilliant and thank you for doing this and of course uh, not of course but it's completely free which makes it uh, very very generous we'll, we'll go back into our course and this time we're adding a link so we've got that turned up let's go into add an activity or resource this will be the teacher's job now we're going to resources and the url and then scroll down until we get to genero i missed that generico everything's so fast on my mouse here Generico widgets. Click on that. And then we're going into website. Okay, we'll add the web page. The web page. Okay, so we need to have a web page. Super survey. Completely free and it's amazing. Okay, there. Now remember we're embedding. This is the way to embed. So you'll see this, but don't be scared. Just post a form. And then let's go back, URL link. And notice what we have here. We've got an arrow pointing. We click on it and there it is. The website is right inside our Moodle course so students don't have to go anywhere else. Now, if you wanna add this as I wanted before, we've got the link, but it won't be embedded. That's the thing. Let's go back into the course. All right, so I changed editors. Apparently, uh, there's an issue here with Moodle 4.4.2 that I just upgraded. So here we are. We'll add the name Super Survey. Remember, we want it embedded, and then we'll add the link. And then notice here, I'll go into, as I said, this is auto editor. I'll go into the G over here. That stands for Generico. Click on that, and then I get Website looks slightly different. I'll um, add the button. So um, the button is uh, Super Survey. That's the name, but you could have anything else there. Click here or whatever you want. And then the link itself and then insert. Okay. And then ignore that. Save and display. So here we go. And then same thing, right? Notice it's blue. It's clickable. There's the arrow pointing down this. We can open notice both ways and it works. And there it is embedded. We don't have to go to the site and come back. 
We don't have to open in a new window. We're here. And isn't that amazing? That's what I love. Let's go back into our practice area. I decided to move it slightly elsewhere. Notice it'll appear like this. Unless, notice, let me go back to edit. I add the description. Tick it off here. So let me tick that off and then notice the difference. I'll go back into the course and, uh, and now click on it and it opens right here. But it's not open by default, which is a good thing because you don't want it open, right? And that's it. Let me stop the uh, edit mode, click on it and it just opens up. Amazing, right? So once again, thank you for watching and thank you to uh, Stefan Lehman for doing all this work for us. Thank you.